Hello and welcome. I'm going to show you how to update Shortcut quickly and easily. Now I'm going to first show you how I do it. I don't even install Shortcut. What I do is I go to the Shortcut website, I go to the Downloads page, and then I pick the portable zip. Here we go. And it started downloading. Now that this is done, I'm going to open the folder. And here is a zip file of Shortcut. Just right click it and pick Extract All and just say OK, OK, OK. And here you have it. There's a shortcut Win64 and then the version and then another shortcut folder. And here inside, there is a shortcut exe file. If you don't see the exe, you can go to View, File Name Extension, and then it appears or disappears. I like to see it all. Now, this is important. You need to be fine with the location of that folder. You cannot change it or else shortcuts to shortcut will not work. I'm going to delete the zip file because I'm never going to extract that again. And in here, I'm going to rename this to shortcut 19, 10, 20, because that's a version number. And I'm going to move this with Control X to a folder where I like to have my portable software. This is on C slash software. It is on an SSD drive, which makes it faster to use. And now that I have my shortcut here, I'm going to first make a shortcut to shortcut by right click dragging and create shortcut here. And this one I'm just going to call zero shortcut. And the reason for that is if I enter this folder, I want it to be able to start it just from here. I don't want to have to scroll down. Okay, now the other thing I do is I also copy this shortcut to my desktop and I just call it shortcut 191020 because there are multiple versions of shortcut. Sometimes new versions have new bugs, so you might want to keep the old ones as well. Okay, so this is how I do it. This is how I update shortcut. I never really install it. Now, most people want to install shortcut. So I'm just going to use the installer for the recent version and I'm also going to get an older version. For example, let's 19.6.15. I'm just going to install it. And we're just going to pretend as if I had it installed all along. So if I run shortcut from the start menu, I get this version, which is 19.6.15, old by now. Now I'm going to install the latest, which for me is 19.10 something. And now let's see, how do I update? Remember, I already have shortcut installed. Let's continue. Let's continue. And now this thing is useful. Remove old program files. This makes updating easy. There is no in shortcut updater, but this is good enough. I'm just going to accept all this. I'm not going to remove settings, but if you have problems with updating, you might want to do that. So this is how you do it. This is how you update shortcut. So this is me updating shortcut. I'm just going to let the installer do its thing. And if I start shortcut from the start menu now, it's 19.10.20, which is the latest currently. Give this video a like, subscribe to support this channel. Let me know in the comments if you have any problems, especially if you can't update software because you don't have admin rights, you should use the zip and extract method. By the way, if you have a shortcut of shortcut, you can just drag the MLT files onto it. See, you don't have to necessarily associate the MLT file format with Shotcut. But if you want to do that, just go to Properties, change the app, scroll down and look for another app, go to the Shotcut folder, be it the installed one or the portable one, and press Shotcut Exe. And apply, and OK, and double click, and there we go. There, another window opens. Remember to give this video a like so you can find it easier next time when you need to update it. And subscribe if you want to support this channel. Let me know in the comments if you have any problems or need tutorials. Check out my other shortcut tutorials, there is a lot. And I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, ciao!